I'm sorry, I don't have anything to say. Like, you know, you're, you're usually commentating something about a game or uh, about the map, about the setups. Maybe I could say that uh, Elite Squad you know, is a really good team, Team Hope as well. Elite Squad has two wins and one lo loss in uh, in the Silver Series as well as Team Hope. So they are tied on points. Team Hope uh, lost their uh, last match of, of the week to uh, to Pariah. Before that, they won against Legend and Roro. Well, Elite Squad won against Suicide Commando and Seven Kangaroos and lost to Retarded Grandma Torture. So, you know, <laughs> uh, Elite Squad had a bit easier, easier, uh, <laughs> interesting match for streaming. Kroboli. Kroboli is actually an admin on uh, ESL Edra. He's a, he's, he's, he's a joker. He asked me if uh, it's an interesting match to stream. Uh, stay, stay tuned, guys. Don't like, don't just go away. I, just, I don't. I don't think Team Hope actually wanted to 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 not play, because why would they sign up for Ted for today, just to lose points? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, That's just I don't know. I don't let's hope that they come you know, they get into the match. Yay, finally. Okay, uh, Team Hope's losing 2-0. Uh, maybe, you know, they're like, yeah, we're better than Lead Squad. Uh, let's, let's give them a chance to win. Let's make this interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so Lead Squad's going to be in the attack. Map is Himmelsdorf, and uh, Lead Squad is leading 2-0. Two magnificent victories, guys. It was just crazy. Uh, probably the fastest wins uh, we've seen in a while. Elite squad just ripped apart Team Hope. Team Hope didn't kill anyone in those two games. It was just horrible. Elite squad showing dominance over, over Team Hope. Oh, it was just crazy. If you missed that, I'm really sorry, guys, if you're just tuning in. But those, oh my god, those games. Like, you have to watch the replays. I mean, it, it was just awesome. <laughs> anyway, Elite squad is on the attack. 2 in 100s and IS-7. AMX 50B, the Waffen Trigger E100, and uh, the Optus for 2 tier. Nines that be uh, S, uh, STIs, so or ST1, whatever. Some people call it STI, some ST1. Interesting thing here: uh, uh, Spilek has uh, as the Dur Durbgun on that Waffen trigger, while Chef on the other on the other side has the actual uh, the actual gun. <laughs> you know, there's a derp and there's the gun. Uh, Team Hope, Defense, IS-4, T-57, 2 IS-7s, Waffen Trigger, E-100, uh, well, as I already pointed out. Um, WZ-111, uh, there's that tier 9 heavy. And uh, 5120, interesting pick here, especially for Himmelsdorf. I'd expect like T-54 E-1, because it's... Uh, it has much better rate of fire and uh, basically everything. Then uh, 5120. 5120 reloads too much. I think it's like 30 something seconds. What's this? CO2? Heavy spa liner? Seriously? Like no optics whatsoever on this huge ass tank? Oh my god. That's just fail. So <laughs> Team Hope set, set around uh, both, both gaps. They don't know where Elite Squad is going to come from. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and yeah, they put the ice four in, in in this little nook here. It's pretty common spot we see being used, 
and uh, today it's being used by Team Hope for their IS-4. We've seen you know, E3s here, we've seen IS-4s, we've seen IS-7s, we've seen everything. IS-4 is probably gonna just uh, come here, closer here because his whole, his whole team is basically now behind him. They're expecting push here uh, because if you want to push towards cap number one, you uh, probably take control, try and take control of the middle, like the G line here, and uh, put some tanks here on uh, K on uh, K12 or, or a bit closer here, J. And you'd sp be spotted, you know, on that one two line. Like you saw those two ISMs are really aggressive up here. Uh, they wanted to see where Elite Squad is going, and Elite Squad. Okay, this is uh, something you don't see very often. They are pushing down the middle middle street here. We've seen this once. We've seen it fail. Uh, let's hope Elite Squad can actually do better with that. Spill is still on the hill. He doesn't want to go forward. He doesn't know what's there. And STI, Perichek, he's going to guard the back. And Titan's going to guard the other side. I think that's the right move because... Uh, <laughs> They're gonna get sandwiched here. They're gonna get sandwiched. Okay, I can't really show this from uh, from one tank's uh, perspective. I'll have to uh, uh, float around a bit. Okay, the IS-4 takes quite a lot of damage. Can, can he be finished? And they did. They killed him off really quick. Uh, Crow Bully here is probably gonna try and side scrap, uh, do some extra damage to to the enemy team. We see WZ rotating back. Uh, the STE is gonna greet him there. Uh, Crowbully is gonna try and find some shots. Uh, Waffen Trigger spotted on the hill, but it's not gonna matter that much. And uh, yeah, we'll see what Crowbully does. He can't find a shot here, so it's uh, not gonna happen. I mean, it was really smart what Elite Squad did. They uh, assumed you know, that IS-4 is gonna be there now. They're completely cutting off that line, and uh, Titan is just going to to cap. So it was, it was a smart call. I didn't actually figure out what they were going to do from the start. But the, neutralizing this guy here means someone has to cross over to actually reset the cap. And uh, crossing this street when, they, when you know the enemy has almost all of their tanks there is uh, really risky. But Lead Squad isn't expecting a push from there. They're looking behind mostly in Crowbully. Yeah, he should probably hug a, hug a corner or something. Okay, button. Darak is gonna peek out. Yeah, two of them. Oh, probably missing that shot, going under that I-7. And now the T-57 is gonna go 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 to town on Crowbully here. Oh, one one uh, non penetration, but it doesn't matter. Crowbully is going to go down. He held out long enough uh, for his teammates to finish off a 50 a 50 uh, 120. T57 is still alive, Gasha should maybe try and finish him off, but Salama Fosh is in the way. Uh, you have to finish off the T57. Okay, someone from behind. Ah, actually Gasha takes the final shot there. Uh, Gasha is going to go down. Uh, Yaki and uh, Titan and Perichek are in the cap. Uh, Salama <laughs> manages to run away. Okay, this is, this is crazy now. Uh, Spile with that derp gun. Uh, the derp gun reloads uh, much faster than the regular gun, just so you know, so it makes it uh, have a bit more... Oh, if Salam actually manages to track Nicholas here. Nicholas is... Oh, Nicholas is dead. Nicholas is dead. Track him. Ah, uh, okay, two more shots. Lower plate. Don't miss it. Yeah, awesome. Awesome stuff there. And it seems like it's gonna be an easy 3-0 uh, lead for the elite squad. Chef is gonna go out, he's gonna die, and that's about it. Only two tanks remain for Team Hope. Even though, uh, even if this wasn't a cap, Elite Squad completely beat uh, Team Hope there. So GG, yeah. Um, nice, nice start of the game, killing the IS-4. Managed to deal like zero damage. The T-57 bounced one shot on the U-100, uh, so uh, you know, it took a bit longer to kill him. Uh, 5120 died, firing just one shot, you saw that you, for, for yourselves. Salama Fosh actually doing an awesome job for his team, almost 4k damage. And Spile with a derp de derp de derp gun. See, this is like the average 3k for the derp gun, because uh, it's uh, 750 average damage. And he has 4 shells. And if they all hit and penetrate, it's just straight up 3k, so 
I mean, that this is the derp gun, four shells, 750 average. So, I mean, the dispersion isn't really that that big, 0 0.34. It's like uh, uh, I think E5 has 0 0.34. Aiming time, awesome, 102 seconds. If you compare it to the first gun, I mean, you know, first gun doesn't have any dispersion stuff like that, but you know, 334 penetration, uh, it's good enough. And uh, I, I'm just I'm just gonna show you. Okay, just for comparison, just for comparison, um, the high seven gun. Okay, 0 0.4 dispersion and 3.1 aim time. So <laughs> the derp gun on a Wolf and Trigger E100 is really accurate. Like it hits on the spot every single time. I like using the gun actually myself. I don't shoot gold with it in randoms. Okay, I stopped playing World of Tanks a few months back, but while I played uh, and one, when I wanted to play the Waffen Trigger, I used the derp gun. And I was shooting eight AP, and I was still managing to penetrate most of the targets. So, um, imagine if I was shooting hit, right? <laughs> uh, ba -ba -bum -bum. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Did you see how I'm shooting with Waffen? <laughs> yeah, so Spile, you're really good, you're really good. You're my hero, man. You're my hero. I like the derp, derp gun. A lot of people are, especially on you know, the guys in WGL, you know, the pro players, you know, they're know it alls. Oh, man, who, who uses derp gun? Derp gun sucks. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> it's Humusurf, it's, uh, you know, it's small map. Kind of small. It's one of the smaller maps, actually. It's not uh, one by one. It's I think 800 by 800. So it makes it one of the. It's medium sized basically. And uh, you know, some you know the early fighting and stuff. I always give advantage to the derp because it hits like an E100. <laughs> it's just crazy. And it reloads in uh, I think 40 something seconds. I mean, on this account you have all the crew skills and everything. And uh, you're probably using chocolate, you know, as well. So the reload isn't really that big, actually. I think it's like 15 seconds shorter than uh, on the small, smaller gun. And plus, like, if you if you fire one shot on the, like, two shots with that big gun, or two shots with the smaller gun, uh, you know, the two shots from the bigger gun are actually gonna hurt more. And you can reload, like, in the, I think the reload is the same as the 5100s. Uh, the reload with derp gun is the same reload the 5100 has. I'm not 100% sure. If it's not the same, it's like maybe one or two second difference. But you know, the smaller gun, the the Jack Tiger gun is actually has like I don't know, 55, 56 second reload. It's just you know, it's just too much. Sometimes you need you know, those, those few seconds. Anyway, hi hi to everyone on the on the chat on the stream. <laughs> one team uprising. And guys, I'm going to be casting, you know, an Uprising and Legend and everyone just uh, can't really do it all in one day, you know. So, and it's quite on defense. Uh, they're, they're pretty much going to stick with it. <laughs> STI proved really useful. Uh, they're going to use an E3, which we can kind of a standard uh, to a degree. 150B, 1IS4 and 2E100s. Ice 4 tank used for side scraping here. Uh, I called it, honestly, I called it right away when I heard there's going to be um, tier 10s. They said Ice 4. You know, side scraping Ice 4, probably the best tank for it. Um, bum, bum. Team Hope using an RU. Uh, they have two E100s, two 215Bs, and Ice 7 and a 50B. So, a lot of Bs there. Uh, the 50B is together with RU on the hill. Uh, they were hoping to catch someone off guard. I mean, this T54 for you know, the elite squad is gonna serve as a kind of a you know, light medium tank. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, hope for now. All of their players are uh, up towards the the banana. The beginning of of of, of the banana. Sound is. Acting up. Okay, 
I can see the the one five B. I can hear hear it. So purple shift. I'm trying to get a vantage point there, as you see, he's uh, trying to shoot someone there. Uh, they know nobody's not uh, nobody's here on the free line, aggressive for elite squad, and they're going to go and push the banana. Hundreds are leading the charge. The FVs are behind them, and hmm. so now they're expecting this. This is why you put they put Yaki here. They're expecting you know, to see someone there, uh, basically. To they're expecting Team Hope to give them a taste of their own medicine, but Team Hope is uh, playing completely different. Uh, they're gonna go with the standard approach, uh, you know, forcing a bit of uh, a bit of the old-fashioned camp here. Look at Spiele, he's waiting. Oh my God, a terrible shot! And an HE loaded. Uh, this is what I like. And you know, there's gonna be an ice for there, so no point in actually trying to penetrate it with <laughs> with standard shells or, uh, God forbid, it heat. So they're just going to to load up HE and uh, do some damage. Okay, Spill is turning around. Is Yaki? Oh, Yaki's not going to support him there. Okay, so the 50B shots one shoots once. The Yaki has to go out and shoot 50B before he retreats. Two, the third shot. Can Yaki shoot? Ooh, he hits him. 50B is in a lot of trouble there. E100s. Uh, oh, oh, actually, that that shot really hurt. Uh, they it, it, a hit shell penetrated from the tracks. I mean, it happens sometimes, you know, depending on the car caliber and the tank you're shooting. But Yaki, if Yaki gets into position, it's gonna be really hard to to do something about him. Spiele here, keeping at bay that RU and 50B for now. Oh, 50B has to be careful. Really, really nicely done by Spiele here. He's gonna get penetrated one more time. Yep. And that's about it. Oh, they are you penetrating him once again. Okay, that wasn't planned, I guess. So, finally some damage dealt from the other side. Um, FV penetrated the SDI. Krobuli here is gonna hold the angle, but... You know, Spiele is pretty much useless now on this side. He can't turn away. If he turns away, he's gonna die. Uh... The RU is probably gonna take a shot when the 50B reloads, so the 50B can uh, finish off Spiele. I don't think, yeah, Spiele should. Spiele is smart. He's uh, saving that shot for the 50B. RU can't one shot him, so even if he manages to penetrate, which is gonna be really hard, yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to be one shot. So they're gonna commit the 215B, which loses half of its HP. Spiele here should penetrate this FV. Oh, the ricochet on E3. Yikes. Okay. So, E3 falls down. Nice, nice, nicely done by these two E100s. They were contesting that E3 all the time. And the E3 had to actually turn around and help his teammate. And uh, man, this squad is... Uh, Trying now to do something, I think it's uh, maybe it's kind of too late. They already lost uh, quite a few tanks. Low roll there by Crow Bully, just 600 damage with the D100. Salama can't hit anyone. RU is gonna come and uh, have a shootout with Wolf. RU should win that, has more HP and better rate of fire. Crow Bully. Mm, oh, he's being shot by RU. Uh, RU can be really, really, really bothersome. Finally, a decent roll for Bully, but he should go down here. 19 HP, oh my god. And... Okay, he's turning around, so the RU doesn't finish him off. Salama Forge, as well, in a dire position when it comes to HP. Titan is swinging around. He's gonna try and finish off the British Heavy. And uh, go and help his teammates. So Nicholas will have to take a shot here for, for Crow Bully. And Salama is gonna fall back. Perichek isn't there to help him out. Perichek was trying to uh, kill Mr. Chef here, but uh, no luck there. Titan is gonna try and pursue 
the 50 bean. He's gonna catch him actually. Oh my god. Oh, but he takes a shot. That's that's not good. Okay, just one, just one, just one is uh, doable. And uh, now elite squad. Oh my god, uh, seven snapshot. Okay, Nicholas uh, not doing the not doing too well. That 50 B can now actually finish off Mr. Chef and uh, purple shift with uh, with one clip. So if Salama Forge manages to penetrate, which he does. Uh, ah! Don't turn it. Okay, so Mr. She. Oh, this can be huge. That miss can be huge. Oh, Titan, my friend, why are you doing this? Just oh, concentrate and penetrate him. Good job. Now he has to reload, but still, that miss can be huge. I mean, he's still gonna fall to like a shot from an I-7 and E-100, but. He can change the angles, he can come from wherever uh, the hell he wants. And if, yeah, that's what I want to say. They're probably going to expect him from here. So he, I'd probably, if I was him, pick out here and uh, try to reset. But, you know, <laughs> a reset meter. Oh my god. 533. I mean, it's still doable, okay. Uh, it's still doable. With a, you know, with an average roll, the S7 won't be able to kill him and he'll uh, finish the E100 with. Oh, with two shots, oh, the average roll. Can he, can he finish the IS-7 in time? That's the question. You can't bounce, you can't bounce. You have to penetrate him, mate. Oh my god! <laughs> Titan finishes off. Three tanks of Team Hope. And Team Hope just lost all of their hope. Oh my god. Titan played really, 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 really good. Salama Forge as well. I mean, Salama Forge and Titan, uh, together with Crow Bully, basically won this game. That uh, crucial bounce on Salama Forge, I mean, it, it was just crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> I still can't believe what I saw. This was one of the most <laughs> intense uh, fin finishers of all time. The three bounces he had, okay, free he had three bounces, and that was when he <laughs> when he uh, had to kill the E100, the first E100. Uh, I said this could be ba game breaking with the E100 missed, and it was. Oh, this has to feel bad for Team Hope. Oh my God. Oh my God. 4-0 lead for Elite Squad. This is just crazy. <laughs> Good job. I am a little bit biased, you know. I mean, they're from. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, on there. <laughs> He's saying the Titan is a beast. I I have to be a bit biased. The <laughs> he can play alone. He doesn't need the rest of the team. Oh, this is a huge confidence boost. Oh my God. As I said, I'm a bit biased. They're from my region. I mean, you know, uh, I have to be. Ah. <sighs> I really can't believe it. The dead, like, I can't remember now which uh, which E100 was that, but oh, he has to be. Oh, I I feel sorry for. Oh my God. Uh, it was really important that uh, Titan keep his cool and uh, you know not uh, miss and you know do do stupid stuff. Like I was really uh, really worried when he was chasing this first E100. Like the the free shots, the free bounces that he that he had in the whole freaking game was those free. He was I don't know why he was hurrying so much. Uh, I don't know, maybe he was afraid you know someone's gonna come and help or something, but. Oh god, I can't believe it. 
can't believe it. That was that was that was a crazy game. That was just a crazy game. No comment. <laughs> I mean, Team Hoops started off really, really well. Like they 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 shut down the Ice Four, uh, killed the E Three and the Ice Four. Uh, Elite Squad was uh, too late to rotate. Like they knew the Ice Four and E Three are gonna die, because those were just the cards, you know. E Three, I actually don't think he should have tried to help the Ice Four, the Ice Four, because the Ice Four was already dead, obviously. And uh, that was that was a bit of a mistake that E3 could have been useful later on. And you can always fall back to that E3. I mean, you're def you're defending, but I I don't know. Like it was a big mistake there losing the E3 in my opinion. It was a misplay, and it was, it was the rotations were really really slow. I mean, you yeah they had like E100s were which are not the fastest things, and. Uh, I was like, you know, Titans full HP, why didn't he try and, I don't know, relieve some pressure somewhere? But what he did in the end was just, just crazy. Just, just crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that it's 4-0 now. <laughs> like, please Team Hope win, win, win a few games. Uh, of course, I'd like Elite Squad to win in the end, but uh, I want to, to see more games. Anyway, Elite Squad defending on steps. Uh, the 39E, 2 uh, objects, 140, 3 STBs and, uh, and an E5. And Elite Squad is going to be really aggressive on the defense. Uh, this is where we see teams doing more and more. Uh, and it's really important to leave this E5 a bit further back, so... Uh, he can come and reset the cap and uh, you know buy some extra seconds. Uh, Team Hope on the attack, of course, using the artillery M4043 and uh, use, having a bunch of Russian mediums, one bat chat and an E5. So oh, four four objects, 140. Um, the DPM, <laughs> the DPM tanks, uh, lead squad. Uh, they were probably expecting the enemy to be there. I think they they overcommitted this E5. Yeah, E5 has to go back. It's really smart what, what Team Hope is doing right now. They're starting the cap. They figure uh, what Elite Squad was trying to do, and the Elite Squad can't really now uh, go around. They they they, they smartly uh, understood the situation. Like most of the teams, you know, lesser teams would continue doing this. Uh, oh, it was two ways. Um, even though uh, the cap started, but uh, Elite Squad knows what's going on, and it's really important now for for this reset to come in. The 39 is gonna try. He oh smart. He's gonna use the the rock as protection, and he's gonna go in in the last second. Okay, this is probably even too too slow. Oof! Oh, those resets come come, come in the right time, and now Elite Squad has a better position. Because Team Hope's tanks are all clumped up. They already lost the bad chat before this fight even started. Because the bad chat was trying to buy some time. And great focus fire here. The two tanks in cap are already dead. Klug is going to go down as well. Titan is being uh, protected by Salama Forge here. It doesn't matter at this point. Even if Titan dies. It's still a win for its squad. And these boys, these boys made it. They, uh, they won against Team Hope. Oh my God! Ah, let him kill one tank. I mean, don't be, don't be jerks. And yeah, purple shift all alone in the artillery, and he goes down as well. Excellently played by Elite Squad Team Hope, uh, doing you know some. Um, it was it was uh, minor damage being done by Team Hope to 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 Elite Squad. Anyway, I mean, uh, they when they got there, they were almost all full HP. I mean, this bad chat uh, firing only two shells. It wasn't really enough. He was—he just went out to take some shots, tried to buy enough time, but reset already came in uh, from uh, from the STB. Yep, Yaki Free. Yeah, I was—I was correct. Yaki Free. Uh, I know—I know it was an STB because uh, it, it, STBs came like like two seconds before the E5. So Yaki Free managing to reset the cap. You know that that extra bit of gun depression there. That's that's the different difference between winning and losing. I mean, Perichek was in a good position to reset himself. He was waiting as long as he could. Uh, I honestly would have went out like, two seconds earlier just uh, just to be sure because the 3090 aim time is being completely um, messed up. So you know, there was a chance you're gonna miss. And um, yeah, I mean, pretty 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 decent uh, decent uh, decent showing by Hope, but 
I guess we all expected much more from home. I mean, 5-0, losing 5-0 to Elite Squad and uh, Hope was uh, well on paper. You know, generally, people are uh, going to be favoriting um, Team Hope over Elite Squad. And I don't know, they just didn't show up today. Uh, you know, first two games, uh, technical lose, and then this. You know, that Himmelsdorf really, really beat them down, and <laughs> in the end, you know, they just <laughs> killed Spiele, and that's about it. Excellent, excellent play by Lead Squad. Um, now their, uh, you know, their placement in Silver Series is is gonna be is gonna be awesome after this. Team Hope's gonna.